Ukraine's Vladimir Zelensky helicoptered into Britain with yet another shopping list of weapons for Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Britain has already anteed up over $8 billion worth of military hardware. Crucially, early on, the UK paved the way for Ukraine to receive powerful offensive systems, including storm shadow cruise missiles. Now Zelensky wants modern fighter jets. We want to create these uh, jets coalition and I'm very positive with it. Sunak's response was not yet, but he did offer to train Ukrainian pilots and send more long-range drones and said the British weapons will keep coming. We are here for the long term. We remain steadfast in wanting to defend Ukraine. Zelensky's trip here and his hopscotching across Europe meeting other leaders comes as the tempo in the battlefield picks up. <laughs> Ukraine is having modest success at pushing Russian forces back around the hellish landscape of Bakhmut, creating internal fights for Russia. A report in the Washington Post claims Yevgeny Prigozhin, the leader of the Wagner mercenaries who've been trying to take Bakhmut, offered to reveal the positions of Russian soldiers to the Ukrainians. Prigozhin has openly fumed about a lack of ammunition from Moscow. And Russia is struggling in other ways. There was an attack on a senior occupying official in Luhansk, one of several in the last few days, and reports of four Russian aircraft shot down. Russian propagandists have sound especially incensed with Britain of late, vowing retaliation. TV host Dmitry Kisilov warned, Britain is just a small, vulnerable island, and it had better watch out. After leaving London, Zelensky posted a video from a train saying he's heading home, with Ukraine stronger than when he left. Now everyone is watching to see how all of those new weapons will be used in a looming Ukrainian offensive. Chris Brown, CBC News, London.